Hello, Milwaukee scholars. Mr. Kirkconnell here. As you can see this week, I am in New Zealand. Just over there, you can see the famous sky tower in the beautiful city of Auckland. I've got some great music lessons for you this week. I hope you like pizza. So with that said, let's see what we've got in store. First on our menu today is Groove Pizza. I hope you all are hungry. Go ahead, check out the link in the description because it's a little too long to type. When you follow the link, this is going to be the Groove Pizza site. This is going to help us make beats with drums. Specifically, we've got bass, uh, snare, and hi-hat. You can listen by clicking this play button here at the bottom. Let's just see what it comes up with to start with. So you can see while it's doing that, not only is the sound going around this pizza up here, but below that you can also see this line going across the space and you can see the dots. That's where our sounds come from. We can add sounds either by clicking on this grid or by clicking on the pizza. So let's go ahead and add in some things. So you see, even though I am clicking down here, it still adds it up to the pizza or I can click on the pizza and take things out. If you click on the middle here, it'll give you different styles of drumming to choose from. Also, you may notice that as I add more to the pizza, it fills in the shapes for me between the different sounds of the bass or the different snare sounds or the hi-hat. So it's very good at letting you see exactly the kind of groove that you are making. Now, that's enough of that for now. Let's explore a little bit more of what comes with our groove pizza. You can see over here we've got specials. Click on that. You can start with a plane. Just start however you want. The lab groove is what we started out with the first time. Next, jazz swing. This is a pretty common drum beat that you might hear if you listen to jazz music. Next, bembe. This is a very important African rhythm. Next, Billie Jean from the famous Michael Jackson song. Pretty simple, but it's a good one. Next, this is Chameleon written by Herbie Hancock, another very famous jazz song. I highly recommend you look that up on YouTube if you have not heard it yet. Next, this is three, four, five. If you look closely, you can see the bass drum has three spread out equally. In the snare, there are four spread out equally. And then in the hi-hat, there are five spread out almost equally. If you look at the shape, it's still symmetrical even though it's not totally even. This might not be the kind of beat that you would hear in a song but it's helpful for us to understand the patterns of how these different voices can all line up together. Next, Rock You. This is from Queen's We Will Rock You. And finally, this trap beat. You may notice something a little bit different about this one. This one changes. If you look here at the bottom, you can see we've got four different pizzas within this one beat. You can do that for yourself too if you just start with a plain pizza. I can start with anything I want. Let's start with techno. Just do something real simple.
All right, so that's one of them. Now this next one, I can even make it a different style. Make it just like the We Will Rock You from Queen. And now here we got to fill these in in the middle. Let's just do something. Click some random things down here. And we can just see what we come up with. So it's pretty much up to you what kind of pizza you want to bake up. If you look down here at the lower left corner, you can see volume. That's how loud it's going to be. So you can adjust that just so that it balances better with what you want. BPM, that is how fast it's going to go. Higher is faster. So you can choose whatever speed you want. Swing comes from jazz. Watch very closely what happens when I change the swing. Look on the pizza. You can see how some of the circles shift a little bit clockwise. Let's listen to what it sounds like with the swing or without. Let's go back to this jazz swing. So you see now we've got a little bit of swing. Let's listen to it with more swing. Or with no swing. So basically swing is a way that players make their beats a little uneven in order to give it a better feel. And now finally slices is how long your pizza will be, how many slices are in the pizza. You can see right now we've got 16. We can take that down all the way to two if we want to. So you can decide how many slices you want your pizza to have. And that's basically all there is to it. You can also add shapes. You can add in a triangle. If you drag it onto one of the three different circles, you can add it for the hi-hat snare or the bass drum or if you drag this zero it'll clear anything in that circle with that i hope you spend some time exploring this and enjoying it for yourself when you've got a pizza that you're proud of hopefully with some different variations at the bottom here you can turn them on or off by clicking on this outside spot when you've finished creating your pizza, go to share and then you can copy paste it into your exit ticket. Enjoy! And next on our menu today is going to be Band Lab. I've got a new assignment for you all today where we can go through loops. So go ahead, click in. You can see here's the assignment. You can read the instructions for yourself. I'm just going to jump right in and show you how it works. Start assignment, go to the teacher's assignment right here. Today we're going to be working with loops, so you can ignore these five and go to browse loops. Now I'm going to encourage you to go to the loop packs. This will give you a lot of different things in one spot. You can go ahead, investigate, see what kinds of things, like we can go to saxophone jazz bop. We can listen to some things. All right, cool. All right, so it looks like this entire loop pack is just different saxophone jazz riffs. 75 of them to be precise. All right, so maybe you'll be able to use that at some point. To keep track of the loops we're listening to, go ahead, go to docs.google.com, make a new document, and just title it Band Lab Loops, something like that. And so I've got the 
saxophone, jazz, bop, loop pack, and I can just figure out which one is my favorite. So let's say I've been listening. All right, I like that a lot. So I can just go, that was number 39, I think. Yeah, 39, so number 39 is dope. I can write something like that just so I can remember to come back to it later if I've got a use for a saxophone sound. Let's go back and look at some other packs because I don't think we're gonna be able to make a song entirely out of saxophone sounds. Let's see, we can look at this Deep House stab, see what it's got. Looks like it's got a whole bunch of different chords for us. Okay, seems like that's all there is to that one. Just type in deep house stabs, synthesizer, just simple chords. All right, let's try to find something with a little more meat in it. Go back to our loop packs. This one looks good. All right, yeah, it looks like we've got a bunch of different kinds of loops in here. So, let's start by listening to some of these. All right. All right, interesting. So I think we can get a lot out of this one. Let's go ahead, Tasha Couture. That's the name of it. So we'll start with bass. What was that one? Bass number seven. Yeah, bass number seven. So just write in a couple words. What does this sound like to you? To me, it sounds squishy. It's the best way I can describe it. Whatever words come to you, that's fine. Just make sure that you have some way that you can remember it a little more easily next time. Or when you're in the mood for a certain kind of sound, you can just look through, find that word, and then be able to put it into your music without hunting all over again. Let's listen to another bass one. Okay. To me, this kind of sounds like I'm on a hunt, or maybe a chase. Also sounds kind of tinny like a synthesized can that I'm hitting or something. So whatever words come to you, that's fine. Let's listen to some of the beats. Okay. So to me, this one kind of sounds almost like beatboxing. Try another one. Okay. This one's a little old school. Okay, so this one to me is kind of a little newfangled. To me, it just mostly it stands out as being busy. You can hear the hi-hats really going off. It sounds busy, so. Spend some time investigating different loops and making notes in your Google Doc. You don't have to turn this in, whatever works best for you is good, but the more notes you take, the less time you'll have to spend hunting later. So I encourage you not to skip that step. You can come back and add to it later, that's also fine. For now, we're gonna get into making a song with our loops. So let's go back to that squishy bass. Number seven, I, I wanna start with that one. So drag it, make sure you've got it starting at the beginning. And now you can drag up here and loop it a few times. That's why they call it a loop after all. 
Now let's add in a beat. Let's see, what beats did I like? Let's go with that beatboxing beat number six. We'll add it in over here. Make sure it lines up. And let's just see what we got so far. All right, that goes together all right. Let's add some more things. You can see we've got these flutes here. We've got guitar, horns, and piano. That's gonna help us get an idea of what kind of sound we're working with. Just like in art class, you're not gonna color everything in one corner. In music too, we want to have things spread out. We want some low sounds, we want some sounds in the middle, and then we want some high sounds too. So let's go ahead with this piano. Oh, looks like that one broke. Let's try that one. That one also broke, interesting. All right, we got a piano sound. Let's see how it sounds. All right, that's okay. I'm not sure that goes together with the bass too well, but for now, we'll just let it slide. Now we can go ahead and loop these a bit more so we don't run out of space. And let's go ahead and add in one of the flutes here too. And this one we can loop. This one's actually a bit shorter though. We can do something else interesting. Instead of looping it, we can just copy paste it. Control C and Control V are your keyboard shortcuts for that. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, so maybe we can move this one around so it lines up. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it at this point. I'll turn it over to you. Find some good loop packs for you. Go ahead and put them together. I recommend starting off simple, layering it in. If you start with everything at once, it's going to be a little hard to keep track of. And when you're done, as always, go up, click Submit. Add a note. Find a great emoji. And then submit. And you're done. Hope you all enjoy. See you next week.